What is up, everybody? Welcome to this new video text brush. I'm going to be showing you how to run some Google ads for your actual Shopify store. And the process is actually not that hard. So in order to get started, you need to have both Google account and your Shopify account. So I usually have a Shopify account to leave for free, a trial version. And then later on, I choose to stick around like a basic one using my actual Google account. So once I am here into my actual Shopify dashboard, you wanted to follow into the first step, which is going into your applications and going into your Google app. So this one should be actually driving you into a section called the applications of Shopify marketplace. Now this application is going to be helping you to drive some sales and reach more customers. So if you connect your Google account, this one should be helping you just to add all the elements into your Google account. Now, if you wanted to add Google ads inside a specific, uh, in this case, a website of the actual Shopify, what I want to do is to open a new tab and go for ads.google.com once my account of Google is now been linked into my Shopify. So I'm going to hit into start now inside the Google ads. And this one should be bringing us into a Google ads account. So whether you wanted to create a new one or to delete one. So in my case, I already have this one. I'm going to click the, and now I can just get started. And there's actually two ways that we can do this, the manual way and the automatic way. So usually Google has like a few tools that can be helping you just to add your website, depending on what is the actual partnership uh, that you have. So if I focus, let's say, for example, here into my overview, I'm going to click into the upper side, it says overview. And as you can see, I have tap into your application for business growth. I have the Google ads in here and I can start my actual new campaign, for example. So this section of adding a new Google ads is going to be helping us to, let's say, drive to some conversions. If I wanted to let people, let's say, find me directly from Google and go here into Shopify and buy myself an actual product and buy a product for my actual company brand, here into your Google ad, you want to focus into the actual section that says leads. So leads means to get leads in other conversions by encouraging customers to take action. If you focus into sales, drive sales online, in app, and by phone and store, you might be having like a few sales, but you might be not getting a few conversions. We want to focus into let people know what they're actually doing with our website when they actually click the. It is really important to choose the option that says leads. So now we have the conversion goal to improve leads. I'm going to hit into continue. And now we can select any specific campaign type. Whether that would be like for, we wanted to appear into the search section of Google search. You wanted to appear into the performance max as a display, as a shopping section, into the discovery, or as a video of YouTube. So that will be totally up to you. In my case, since I have a few products that are related into, let's say for example, there's like a plush toy, a bunny plush toy, I might be wanted to appear into the search bar of Google search. So if I open in the top, I look out for plush, I'm going to go for bunny into the very first part. I do have a lot of uh, bunnies that are actually not that what I'm trying to sell there. So I'm going to go back and I have kawaii food um carrot for example cute carrot strawberry rabbit so i'm going to go for let's go for which is why i'm going to be using the one that says search i'm going to hit now into select the ways you'd like to reach your goal so we want to get more website visits to get more phone calls or store visits or to app downloads or to lead for form submissions in our case you just want to focus into website visits so once i focused into my actual store what I wanted to do is to focus, copy the link of my store and paste it directly into Google Ads. And now since we wanted to track some leads and conversions to our website, we wanted to get started with new conversion actions. We wanted to see what people do after clicking into the ad that we have provided to them. And to do this, we needed to make some a few installations. We needed to install a tracking code ourselves or to instructions to a webmaster. In our case, we wanted to do this ourselves. So what I wanted to do is to add a Google tag and where maybe I can just hit into download my Google tag and as a TXT file, or I just copy these actual tags below. 
and paste it between the head and the head tags of every page of your actual website. You only need to install the Google tag once per account, even if you're tracking multiple accounts. So the most easiest way to do this is to just go into your store. Instead of looking into customize, go into the three dots and go for edit code. And inside edit code, I choose layout. Inside layout, I go for theme.liquid and I wanted to focus into the one that says head. So I can see head here. The instruction set uh, to copy the tag below and paste it between this head and the other head tags. So um, I wanted to uh, go back and this is my first head and the other head should be appearing a little bit down in here. So I'm just gonna go up, I hit here and I hit into paste. And here's my Google tagged added. There we go. So I'm going to hit now into save. I'm going to go back and I hit into done. And my conversion is now being installed. So now the campaign name should be, let's say, leads for my Shopify tire one. And I hit now into continue. The network is, this is how it should be appearing. The location, this is really important where you want to focus in. Let's say that I wanted to sell stuff only for people from Mexico, for example. So I just enabled only and only Mexico and people who speaks English. Now the audience segment should be helping you to find a little bit more specific target audience. So for example, if I just enable this option, I hit here into search. Let's say that I wanted to focus for people who are interested into plush toys. So I hit into plush and I have in market toys and I just enable that and only that. So now I'm going to hit now into next. I have now in a specific audience. Here are my keyword. Here is my keywords of my actual product. And this is like a preview of how it's going to be appearing the title when people look out for a rabbit plush toy like this. And lastly, we have the average daily budget for my campaign. So usually I do like $2 or three daily. So I don't want to spend like a lot, but I don't want to spend nothing. So it's really, really important to at least consider a, a small amount. And inside your insights and reports, here it should be appearing um, the conversions, how many interactions you have received so far, the cost, the average cost per view, and the interaction rates even going to be appearing how much money you have earned through these actual google ads as you are let's say marketing and making so much e research about your custom audience so now that you have your google ads already been set up now that you have your shopify store now you have the product that you're willing to promote inside google you are now ready to go so with that being said we have now reached the very end of the video but don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you don't want to see more great tips about how you can run ads campaigns of shopify inside your google ads so thank you so much for watching the video and hopefully i can all see you next time